if you're watching this, I cannot offer you gameplay with me and my boyfriend together. Um, but I can offer you very deep, insightful things that I thought about. And if I think terrible things happen. And I know a lot of you are watching my videos for like uh, the femcell advice. And this is femcell advice. Because to me, the incel experience is solely based on not getting laid. Like, incel is pretty much, I want to, I want to fuck a woman and I'm not getting any women and therefore I hate women. The femcel experience is much more nuanced and usually influenced by a lot of more things and I believe that they still apply to me so today I will tell you things advice very important pieces of advice that I think are beneficial uh, starting off with something that is still a very hard topic for me um, like when I was a bit younger like six five six years ago um, so when I was like 15 16 um, my ego used to be terrible um, admittedly me being like a girl in puberty did not help much but it was terrible and I was very terrible p to people it was Incredibly hard, if not impossible, for me to admit if I was in the wrong. On the contrary, if I realized I was in the wrong, I would get even worse and just go full attack mode to like completely shift the blame from me onto the other person so that I would not be seen as like the person who fucked up in the end. And that, of course, is a terrible thing. And if you get your ego hurt and you take like damage in your confidence or whatever people like me tend to crash out immediately and crashing out is never a good thing to do or rarely for example it it usually can make much more damage than it is really worth you can lose people over minor things that simply piss you off because you're a petty person like me and then you will never see those people again because after you fucked up you have to be the one to go back and admit that you were wrong and hope that you will be forgiven and if you are an ego person like me there's just no chance that you will go back after the conflict and admit your wrongs. So maybe sometimes it's better to just bite your tongue and say nothing. Because most of the time people don't even intend to attack you or hurt you. Or maybe you just read too much into it which I'm also very guilty of. What else? Something else I realized is the opposite of love is not hate, but total indifference. And by that I mean what I have seen often, what happened to me and like people around me is if you have someone, whatever, it could be like a lover or a friend or a family member, whatever, Someone who's close to you and that person keeps hurting you over and over and over and over again and you go back and you get hurt again and you try again and you, you don't leave, you just get hurt again and again. Eventually, without even in intending it to happen, it just happens. One day, you wake up and you realize you just don't care anymore. You don't care about that person, if you will ever see them again, whatever happens, you're just indifferent about it. 
and that's it it's like if that person died and you're already over the grief and whatever you're just it just doesn't bother you anymore and talking about that i used to be really hurt by people who hurt me and i would always question myself why would you hurt me this way why would you do these terrible things to me and if you get hurt and you need a way to cope with it because you will never get your answers you will never get an answer to your question why and even if you got an answer you would never be happy with it but something that helps me get over whatever happened to me is thinking if you were such a terrible person to me just how terrible must it be inside your head how awful must be these people feel who hurt other people so bad like now imagine you you have someone and they just treat you like absolute shit over and over again they show you that you work nothing and they treat you like nothing what do you think goes on inside the head of such a person because i believe that these people feel much worse about themselves than they feel about you and now about all the people who did me wrong if i ever think about them in my opinion all i did was forget but not forgive because forgiving to go back to like the ego question can sometimes be beneficial you don't have to hate someone for doing you wrong until the rest of your days of course there can be exceptions i forgave a person who did me really really wrong and by that i mean that i had to go into a psych ward for months and i suffered from PTSD and stuff and i had like psychosomatic symptoms that made me very ill because to without going into much detail i was uh, insanely badly sexually assaulted by someone very dear to me and it messed me up because if you have sex with a person you don't want to have sex with under no circumstance it will be terrible but after three years three i saw that person again and for whatever reason i don't know what happened because I did think about it a lot, but not like when it happened. I just saw them and I thought, I forgive you. I forgive you for what you did. And I went up to the person and I said, I forgive you for what you did. And they were very surprised, of course. But it did turn out very well for me because I feel so much better. And we are really good friends now. And I think that was a good decision. And I would talk more, but like I don't have much time because the video will end. Um, this is gameplay with my boyfriend, and I did record us both when we played. But it didn't record us either way, I think.